got the stability ball hip extension. You want to try to find the stability ball that allows your knees to be at about 90 degrees when you're sitting on it. This one might be a little bit tall. I can make it work. So look out for ones that are way too short or way too tall for your body. You're going to sit on the ball and then you're going to walk your feet away from the ball so that your body starts to lay back on the ball. And you want to stop when your head and your neck are comfortably supported by the stability ball. If you go too far forward, you'll feel that it kind of crunches your neck up. And if you go too far back, your head is hanging off or you feel like you want to hold it up in the air. So it's that comfortable spot with your head and neck on the ball, making a tabletop position, this flat position from my shoulders to my hips or to my knees. You're going to drop your hips back towards the floor in the ball. And you're going to brace through your glutes and kind of tuck under a little bit. Lift your hips up just like you would in any other bridge with your glutes, not with your low back and chest. So lifting up by tucking under and only going as high as you can using your hips for hip extension. You should feel a good squeeze in your glutes at the top. You might feel a little bit of a stretch in the front when you're up as high as you can, but you should not feel any stress in your lower back. So you're going to lower your hips down, tuck under and drive them up only as high as your hips go and make sure the ball does not move while you do this. If it comes down when you go down and it goes back when you go up, it's more of a quad dominant exercise. So we want to stay pretty steady on the floor with these. And to make them harder, you can take a dumbbell or a sandbag or whatever kind of weight or med ball you have available and place it on your hips. If it's a dumbbell, Find somewhere comfortable. I like to do it below my hip bones. You might prefer it to be more in your abdomen. Doesn't matter. Get that 90 degree angle with your knees, straight angle with your hips, and the movement's exactly the same. You're just holding on to a weight 